Hello traders and welcome to Get Started with Ninja Trader 8. In this video we're going to focus on creating a chart. Among the things we'll discuss are opening the data series menu, add an instrument, configure a time frame, and spawning charts from other windows. As a reminder, trading does carry significant risk, and all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only. It is not offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or forex. So the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is go to your control panel and click on New. Go to Chart. And then up here under the Instruments section, you can simply go ahead and click the drop down. You can see everything previously viewed. You can also go to Instrument List here as well. Or you can go ahead and simply type in the contract that you want to go ahead and apply here. Another thing that you can go ahead and do is go to the magnifying glass. And let's say you want to go ahead and put it in the ES contract. You can go ahead and put an ES or type in E-mini. It'll bring up all the E-mini contracts. And you can go ahead and pick whichever contract that you like. Similarly, if you don't know the contract for, let's say, silver, you can go ahead and just type in silver and find the SI contract here and load that in. For our purposes here, we're going to go ahead and, and load the ES contract here. And then we're going to go ahead and go over to the properties and the data series window. Now this will provide you different settings for your time frame. So for the data series up here, I want to go ahead and make the price based on the last, but you can also do ask or bid. The type, I want to go ahead and put to a five minute chart. So I'm going to go ahead and select minute. For value, I'm going to go ahead and select five. So this is going to go ahead and give me a five minute chart based on the last price. Under time frame here, you can do load data based on days or bars. Most popular one is days. I want to see 300 days of data. This is the most current date. And then you can go ahead and select instrument settings for trading hours. Go ahead and hit OK, and the chart will go ahead and populate here. Now you can also go ahead and spawn a chart from another window, such as an FX board, market analyzer, or hot list. Go into an FX board, for instance, and then go ahead and right click on any currency. Go down to Send To, click on Chart. That'll bring up the data series window here once again. So I see that I'm going to go ahead and load a one minute chart with five days to load, hit OK. And that'll go ahead and bring up a Euro Yen chart as you see here. 